my interest in very, very low uh, power systems began in about 1983, and I made my first one with uh, just with coffee jars to pump water in uh, 1987, and uh, never really had uh, things all together, but um, now. Um, I've been pumping water uh, quite successfully with uh, little bubble aquarium bubble pumps for a while and um, I just want to, to make the process go a bit further and have more people thinking about it. So one pound per square inch is equivalent to uh, the, uh, the pressure you need to pump air 2.3 feet deep in water or 0.7 meters deep in water so that that would be have a little aquarium bubble pump pretty much maxed out anyway so this is the the back of my lot uh, well it's kind of close to it and last year I put in a greenhouse and oh what's something going wrong so the greenhouse is here and it was a pain watering it and I put in my first pallet garden and uh, I've got um, videos about the greenhouse and the pallet garden. Anyway the pallet gar garden had a pipe coming up to it with a bubble pump pumping water around and just cycling around through it and I started this on the um, uh, 11th of uh, August and it worked really really well. Anyway so the pipe, so I've got a bubble pump in the shed, powered by electricity, and it just bubbles, pumps air to the little thing at a little less than one psi, and the air pumps water around the pallet garden. Since doing the first one, um, did another one up close to the greenhouse, but I had a different watering method, and. I started a couple in the greenhouse. Now the neat thing is uh, I was able to extend the pipe this little air quarter, um, quarter inch internal uh, tube to the greenhouse and I was able to power two little similar size pallet gardens in the greenhouse itself and that's on YouTube too. Now this is all with less than a psi of pressure from air pressure and um, it's pumping water uh, 12 to 14 inches of with 12 to 14 inches of head and it's pumping water up just over four feet in one case and about two and a half feet in another so um, one psi it doesn't take much effort to do one psi so you don't necessarily have to have electricity powering it. And um, uh, let's see, what do I want to show you next? Extend the grid. So this is like, the alternative to doing this was to uh, put uh, electrical cable up here and having the little bubble pump up close to the greenhouse. But the electrical cable, it cost about twice as even though it was only half the distance, cost twice as much. So I ended up doing uh, something different, and I just pumped uh, I pumped the air up instead. But now imagine this air pipe is part of a grid. So instead of just the bubble pump here, you could have say you had a little river somewhere you could do gravitational vortex and any one of a number of different ways of pressurizing the air or you could have pulsar pump nano with no moving parts at all you could have um, a vertical axis wind turbine now there's a friend of mine on youtube and instructables her name is martha she's done a very very nice flap turbine but her problem is she wants to pump water with it and uh, directly and and that means it has to be near the uh, the stream that she pumps from 
but in, if she did it just um, pressurizing air instead it could be in the ideal place for the wind uh, the wind turbine you could also do it with a uh, solar panel um, powering a, a bubble pump so the solar panel uh, generally they're around 15 watts now the bubble pumps are only around 5 watts or less so should easily be able to power it so it could start to look like a grid in your backyard or and it could be doing a host of different things it could be powering a, a lot of different things and um, it might be an alternative to so many people are trying to do their own electric uh, electrical systems in their backyards and the amount of power uh, and the amount of money you've got to spend to develop that power and convert everything el into electricity is just crazy so it this might be a way of using those mini tiny little uh, amounts of power um, and uh, do something really useful with them so I'm going to leave it at that thank you bye bye